Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez and I'm an actress based out of California and today I'm going to share with you why and um, why I got this smile eye surgery and how it happened. I've vlogged along the way and I'm going to show you my experience, um, what happened to me, how it was, how nervous I was before it happened and everything. And this is not sponsored at all. Anyways, it's the most magical thing that's ever happened to me. And that's what I told the doctor when I went for my checkup a couple of days ago. She asked me like how I'm doing and I'm just like, it's the most magical thing. I look outside, I'm not wearing any contacts or glasses and I can just see everything. I wake up and I can just see everything. Um, so obviously I had a really positive experience. Today is May 6th and um, I'm still getting a little bit of halos around lights but not as much as it used to be but my vision is 2020 now so let's go back to the beginning on april 13th i had my consultation and it did take about two hours because they do a bunch of different tests they basically want to check that your eyes are okay for the procedure and they will recommend either lasik which is more invasive and smile um i am of course not an expert at this i know barely anything about surgeries but i'm going to tell you my experience and what i do know LASIK, they almost cut all the way around your eye. And then for smile, they just cut a little smile on your eye. So of course, smile takes a lot less to, you take a lot less recovery time to be able to like do normal things again. Like I'm wearing makeup today and you know, and my surgery was April 30th and so they approved me. I was able to get the smile surgery and then I scheduled it for April 30th and they gave me a some drops in medicine the day that of my consultation once i did schedule my surgery they gave me these drops which are antibiotics and i had to put them in my eyes the night before one drop on each eye and then the morning of and then after the surgery every six hours and you don't have to wake up every six hours that's what i thought but it's as long as you do it four times a day while you're awake it's okay and i was waking up every six hours and it might be different for everybody depending on how your eyes are doing but for me they told me i can just do it four times throughout the day so i put alarms on my phone um, to do this another thing is you're not supposed to wear contacts um soft contacts seven days before and hard contacts four weeks before and then the morning of i do have some footage i was in a terrible mood because honestly i was so terrified i'm getting smile surgery today so they asked me to wash my hair and uh, before I came in so I just did that and we have to leave our house here in about 30 minutes so I'm pretty nervous that my boyfriend did this and of course it's a procedure that a bunch of people have had done and it's lasers it's just like and there's gonna be a doctor there it's gonna be fine I am really happy to be getting this especially for acting because sometimes you're on set for long 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 hours and your contacts can dry out or these glasses especially you can see there's a mark right here sometimes i get headaches from my glasses so in general i know this is going to improve my life but specifically for acting it's going to be very very beneficial because i don't have to worry about being on set doing something very active my contact falling out i don't know if you guys you guys have ever experienced that but I have literally been like watching TV and then like I blink and a contact falls out <laughs> onto my cheek. So no more of that, no more glasses. And I can wear sunglasses without needing to, you know, put contacts in first. So I'm really excited for this to help me in all aspects of my life and in acting. We're on our way to the office um, to get the surgery and I am super nervous. I'm in like a terrible mood. No, I know it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Before the surgery, they gave me some muscle relaxer. The surgeon gave, uh, looked at my eyes one more time. He needed to know what correction he needed the, to program the machine because the machine is going to do the lasering and then he's going to go in there at the end and take out that little cloud bubble thing. So then I very nervously went to the bathroom, put some little booties on and a hair cover and my boyfriend was able to be there, which I definitely needed somebody to drive me home because you have to have your eyes closed at least four hours after your surgery, but also moral support because I was terrified. I go into the machine and then he says, we're going to practice. So I practice looking at the light. He's like, okay, great, you know, explains it. By the way, the surgeon, 
He's the nicest man. He talked through the surgery with me so I could calm down. He's just so sweet and nice, you know, just nice, a nice person. He, I, I could not have asked for a nicer person to poke my eyes. <laughs> Once we were done practicing, he's like, okay, time to do the real thing. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, whoa, 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 hold on. I felt pressure on my chest, like something heavy was on my chest and I was getting really nervous. He's like, do you want your boyfriend to come in here? You can hold his hand. I was like, no, 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 I'm a big girl. And I felt like if I was holding his hand, I would move. I, I really wanted to stay still. I, I calmed down and then he did it. The second eye took a little bit longer, I think. Um, they had to put more numbing medication because they did put numbing drops in my eyes and even tested my eye to make sure I didn't feel anything, which I could see things. And I was like, I don't know if he's like coming at me or what, but you get numbing uh, drops in your eyes and it works super fast because they go and test it. And then they put some metal things. I think they were metal. I couldn't see at this point. Um, that was really disorienting, not being able to see for a while, but, um, you know, during the surgery, but he opened it up with like pried it open with something and then tested it. And then the machine put some kind of suction on. There's a countdown while the laser it's doing its thing after the laser is done, super cloudy. You can't see anything. Um, and then he goes in there and as he goes in there, he's just chatting you up. He's really making you comfortable. And then as we're talking, he also tells me, okay, great job. You're 30% done, 50% done, 90%. And then once we're done, we went to the next eye. So he's really good about like walking you through it because it is a really quick process. Uh, after the surgery, they gave me some sunglasses and then just asked me to sleep, gave me some sleeping pills. Immediately after the surgery, I went to reception. They gave me Tylenol and I um, had it just because the numbing drops were going to you know, go away in a little bit so I needed something to so I wouldn't feel any pain and then they asked me to go home and sleep so that's what I did and I actually have a clip of me because I told my boyfriend apparently to please record me while I'm going to bed and um they gave me these goggles to sleep in so yeah I, I slept in these for a couple of days so you can't see <laughs> um I'm in bed I took some Valium when I got there and I didn't really kick in very well because I was nervous the whole time but I was still okay and the doctor was really good at chatting it up and telling me when I was doing good and when I needed to do and I just took some sleeping pills and hoping to sleep and we also just put some eye drops in my eyes and now have goggles so that I can't touch. I don't remember any of this. I slept around 4.45 and then had dinner and then took the other sleeping pill. Uh, and for some reason, I woke up in like three and a half hours. Those sleeping pills for, just didn't really affect me as far as like sleeping the whole night. But I did continue to have my eyes closed um, until the next day day and even the next day I wanted to be super super careful I slept most of the day and just relaxed on the couch and put my sunglasses on we did go on a quick walk just to get you know some blood flowing in my body but when I went on the walk I had um, a hat on and some glasses on and just was trying to not put any light in my eyes because it was pretty uncomfortable but as far as the recovery process you know just taking care of your eyes not rubbing them because they're recovering putting in your antibiotic drops and then they also gave you these artificial tears which is like a more slimy version of water I'm not exactly sure what's in here but these are oasis tears I love these whenever my eyes get dry I just have to put a couple of drops in and um and then my eyes feel so much better Almost a week later, my right eye is still, from the beginning, has been more dry than my left. And then I had my checkup on Tuesday. I just got to the doctor's office for my post-op look-up, look, post-op post appointment. The fact that I can see things, like I can look far away and be able to see them without having contacts or glasses on, like it's mind-blowing to me that they just put lasers and then the surgeon went like boop boop and it's done. So magical. I'm so grateful I was able to do this. Wow, this is the most magical, most amazing thing 
I'm so dramatic. But really, I'm just so excited to be able to do this. So I'm gonna go into my appointment right now and hopefully they say everything is good. I just got done with my um, post-op appointment and I love Dr. Tran, she's the best. She's so sweet and awesome. Um, she's one of the doctors that will see you before and after your surgery, but um, I'm great. I'm fully recovered as far as like the healing process of my eye. And she said I can wear makeup, I can wash my eyes, of course, like not scrub, um, but I can lightly, you know, massage the areas to clean it. I can wear makeup, I can stop wearing those sleeping goggles, but I'm basically done healing. She just checked my eyes and I'm at 2020. <gasps> so exciting oh my gosh I definitely recommend this this is super expensive not something you need to do by any means but it's something that if you can do it's so cool I much much rather spend you know thousands of dollars on my eyes and being able to see without contacts or glasses than spend it on like I don't know jewelry or what else do you spend that much money on? <laughs> Nothing I never spent this much money um, I guess Invisalign that's the other thing that cost pretty much the same as this new eyes new teeth who this <laughs> I'm so lame okay I'm so excited um about this yeah so happy really excited to be able to you know just throw some makeup on and start filming or when I go on set I don't have to worry about contacts or glasses so I know that's definitely going to help me when I'm working so so much um, because it's just a pain, you know, it's just like, it's such a luxury to be able to do this for sure. Um, but I say, if you have the money, I recommend it. If you don't have the money and you can maybe save up for it in the future, um, definitely do it. Uh, the company that I went with was IQ Laser Vision. I know they are a pretty large company. I know they have offices in at the very least California, maybe other places. I will make sure to leave a link in the description so you guys can check them out. If this is something you're interested, like I said, not sponsored at all. And if IQ Laser Vision ends up giving me a code, I will definitely put it in the description for you guys. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to be able to see without. Anyways, thank you. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's video. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.